So I get asked a lot about how to download and install Smart Notebook. So that's what we're going to take a look at today. So I'm going to go to the internet and I'm at Smart's website. So that's smarttech.com, S-M-A-R-T-T-E-C-H.com. And I'm going to click on this little support button right here. And from there, I'm going to go down to software downloads. The first option you're going to see is Smart Notebook. So I'm going to choose a version right here. The latest version as of September 2012 is Notebook 11. So I'm going to choose Notebook 11 here for Mac. You get an education software installer and what that means is that you can download and install anything that's going to be applicable to education all with one little software wrapper. When you do that, um, you can have a 30-day free trial of stuff you don't have a license to, or you can um, activate your software for things like the 3D tools by plugging in your Smart Document Camera 330 or plugging in your Smart Response Receiver. If you already have Notebook 10 installed, you don't need to worry about putting in new product keys or anything like that. Everything's a 30-day free trial. So now I'm going to hit Download. When you come here, they're going to ask you if you have a product key um, or not, and I'm going to click yes, because I do have a product key. And again, if not, you have a 30-day free trial. So then you fill out your contact information, and then it'll start a download immediately. I'm using Safari, and I'm using um, the Lion operating system, so I can see my progress of my downloads when I start it right over here in the corner. But I'm going to be able to find it when it's all finished in my Finder, and we're going to take a look at it in a minute. So I'm going to fill out my contact information and then click Start Download. So now my download is complete, and I'm going to go find it and start the installation process. So I'm going to go into the Finder, and I'm going to click on my name, and here I see downloads inside my Sasha folder. So here's the Smart Education Software 2012 package. So I'm going to double click on that and it'll open this up. And then I see a little box that I need to double click on to start the installation process. So it's going to open this up. And I always say that you want to answer all positive. So continue and yes and agree and so on. So I'm going to click continue. And I'll click continue, continue, and yes, I'm going to agree to the software. You're going to get an option to participate in the customer experience program. Basically, that helps to make smart products better. It's a way for smart to listen to us as educators and what we would like. So I always enable the customer experience program on my devices. So I'm going to click continue. Now here's where you get to choose what you'd like to install. You can put little check marks next to ones you'd like to try or you might have licenses to. But if you only have Notebook, you're going to click off Smart Notebook and make sure that you have the Smart Product Drivers clicked off as well. That's what enables Touch. So we're going to make sure that all of these things are checked off that you have the license for and you want to try. So I'm going to click off all of these because I have licenses for all of them. And now I'm going to click Continue. So now I'm going to click Install, and I'll have to put in my password. If you're using a district computer, you might not have administration rights to install stuff, but on your home machine, you shouldn't have any issues. And afterwards, it will need a restart, so I'm going to continue the installation, and now it'll start. This can take between 5 to 15 minutes, depending on how fast your internet speed is, because you do need to... Uh, it, go to the internet to install the full gallery. So I'm going to pause now while it finishes the installation and then I restart. So now my installation is complete and I can see the smart board tools are in my dock. If I want to have a smart notebook in my dock, I just come to applications and I find smart technologies and I open up notebook and that'll open up Notebook for the first time. If you're opening Notebook 11 for the first time, you will get a little tutorial, which is great. But if you control click on the Notebook icon and you go to Options, you can click Keep in Dock. And then you always have Notebook in your dock. So that's how to download and install Notebook 11 for Mac.